Hello YouTubers, my name is Rick. My name is Amanda. And welcome back to our channel. Today we're here at Wally World. I'm going to show you what I buy here for a week or two and show you and explain to you what I'm going to have daily. Follow me over here. Here we go. Here's our vegetable aisle. Um, when we come and get the, the bell peppers, for which I have about every other day, um, I would pick the red ones because it has more vitamin C and more vitamin A and I'll use like a quarter of it every day inside my my salad. That's actually very interesting. I did not know that yeah. about the red peppers. And I don't exactly have all the uh, vegetables together every day. I kind of mix and match them. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also use cucumbers and I'll use as one of my videos that shows you that I can use like I use about a quarter of it fourth of it or sixth of it and I'll add it into it but like I said I do it every other day when I switch over you can mix mm -hmm. and match that way can you have carrots on the keto um no you can't because there's too much sugar and too much starch in it so I, w I wouldn't suggest that at all okay but then I do um basically I do salad lettuce yeah and I use about I don't know about a quarter of this every day and add in you can also have mushrooms not as much as lettuce i eat oh no <laughs> can you have the romaine lettuce sure you can have any type you want they all have the same vitamins what in about it. celery i'm um, sure why not okay mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm just showing them what i'm using what i do so okay. they can follow me so it'll be a lot easier on them oh. and when i do i use um, mushrooms and i only use these a couple times a week but you can put like a handful in every other day it doesn't matter what kind of mushrooms you got, they're, they're all pretty good and you can make all kinds of meals just with a mushroom alone. Yeah. And we're going to come over here. You can use the, a spinach mix. Okay. You can use baby green salad mix. Just don't do the mix that has the carrots in it because there's too much sugar involved there. It will end up turning into sugar um, if you eat that. Kind of like bread would, if you eat that, just turn into sugar immediately. Cool. Um, of course, I told you about the ice or um, lettuce you can have. Ah, let's go over here. Ah, a lot of people like this department. This is my favorite aisle. The here we go. Yeah, but avocados. Mm -hmm. um, I suggest if you're going to eat avocados through the week, um, just do a half of one because it has a lot of fat in it. You okay. just got to watch how much fat you eat every day. Don't go super high at the beginning. And you watch our videos every week, we'll show you how to change the grams. You don't always have to be perfect on the grams. You, you might think you need to, but it's not necessary because your body will get used to it. And I'll show you how to revise that. We got videos on Lauren and her group, and, they, and I will show you then and there when they're weighing in how much grams to do right there. Okay, let's go this way, you guys. Ah, we got to have the tomatoes. Oh, yeah, I love tomatoes. Tomatoes are okay to have on a keto diet, but if you're, say, you're not losing weight that week and you can't figure out why and you're eating a lot of tomatoes, drop your tomatoes. Can you eat any type of tomato? Like oh, Roma, to beef tomato? Yeah, I think all the tomatoes are fine. I don't see a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Onions. We got to have our prebiotics. I know. Yes, that's you know, important. And the onions are way cheaper than buying um, in a container, you know, your different vitamin supplements. So just mm -hmm. go with your onions and you're going to get your prebiotics from that. What um, about uh, garlic? Oh, yeah. Can they have garlic? Yeah, you can have garlic and everything. What I do is I always buy it in the container already pre chopped up for me. Oh, okay. Diced, and I just use whatever I want in it for taste. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I decide I want some vitamin C, which I'm going to show in another video pretty soon with the, um, the group that's losing weight, I'm going to mm -hmm. suggest to them to put their vitamin C and vitamin A in there going through they can use lemon mm. or limes but I'm gonna suggest no more than a half of one every day putting lime in water is good oh yeah excellent or in my diet sodas absolutely so when it comes to vegetables as long as you don't do potatoes and you don't do your carrots and you take it really easy on those tomatoes you shouldn't have to worry about a stall in your weight and if you do that could be one of the reasons follow me this way we're going to show you what I eat in the protein. 
Uh, here's he one. loves this stuff. He's going to show you. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I have this two times a week. Aha! Shrimp. I actually eat this whole container on one meal a day. Yes, and um, your fat is 1.5 per serving. There's four servings in this, so you get a good amount of it. But this is really good protein to lose weight with. You can add your own type of oils to it of any type you want. Or butter. Butter tastes really good when you put uh, uh, you put some garlic in it, mm -hmm. or garlic salt, or garlic powder, what onion powder. I was going to say onion powder probably would be good too. <laughs> Aha. There we go. The seafood aisle. You got to have this stuff. And, and his favorite seafood yeah, is? It's going to be salmon. <laughs> come in here and get this. They only sell it for $4 for it right now. The best type to get is wild caught. To get wild caught is because a lot of food has way too many um, omega-6s in it, which is not good. The body needs to balance out. This has omega-3s in it if it's wild caught. That way you don't have to get another supplement after supplement. You just find a way of eating and this is what I would use. Could you eat catfish? Oh yeah, absolutely. Catfish. Now he loves catfish. Well, what I would suggest to deep fry it in some lard. That way, mm -hmm. it brings up the fat, and it tastes so good. I see some catfish <laughs> right there. I would get the skinless catfish; is, is better for you. Yeah, or you can just get river caught catfish. And hey, every year I do do that. I live here in Arkansas, so I go to the river, I get fresh caught catfish, and you catch them one after another. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come to Arkansas if you want to try the river, you're going to catch fish. And oh, yes, he does. A I lot. catch them just like that. He does. I don't know his tricks, but he does. Hey, follow us over here. I'm going to show you some real better type of uh, hamburger meat that I, norm the, that I don't normally get because it costs a little more. But if you don't mind spending a couple extra dollars per pound, let me show you something. Here we go. Organic grass fed. It's only, for one pound of it, it's only $5.46. What a deal. But if you buy the other regular hamburger that I buy per pound, it's only like three forty-eight. dollars So if you're willing to spend that extra, this is way better for you than the regular ground beef that I get how much uh, refresh them about the percentage on your hamburger if you're first starting out and you want to get in ketosis I would use 7327 hamburger okay and they have that right here and they're only selling that for three dollars and 24 cents that's not bad yeah I think it's pretty cool and this is what I use all the time it's cheap it's really good doesn't mean it's bad for you as long as you keep your omega-3s up you're good to go what about the 80 20 is that okay um, to use too yeah if that's all you can get a hold of just use some a uh, little bit of butter with it or some kind of oil with it to okay. bring the fats up a little bit okay and give them a little view of this area this area you see with all these bags in it that's a no-go i wouldn't do that if i were you bread wise of the breading. The breading on it has a way too many carbs. And a lot of these packaged stuff has way too many carbs. See, I like these. Oh yeah, he loved those. But but I, when I used to eat these, I didn't realize when I was first doing it that it had too many carbs in it. See, it's in a package. So be careful on that. Don't do that at the beginning to lose weight. Later on, you can. Once you control your weight and you reset your body, you're good to go and you can go ahead and have a few of these again. Cool, cool. And I do do pork chops. Yes, he does. <laughs> so when you come and look at the pork chops in here, I would choose a fattier cut. See, there's more fat on it than I would this one. This is a leaner cut. So this will get you in ketosis and help you shed fat quicker. Um, you can test it maybe eight ounces a day. If you're doing, uh, say, one meal a day, I would do up to a pound. Just kind of shift it back and forth and watch your weight loss. Don't weigh in any less than four days at a time. To give your body time to do the adjustments. Okay. What about turkey? Absolutely. If you want to do turkey, this way you can control how much fat you want by the grams. Yeah. I love turkey. Now, this right here has 85% lean, 15% fat. Absolutely fine. I use this a lot. 
I use it like maybe three times in two weeks. That'll get your body out of adjustment. You bring it back in, you'll lose weight faster again. Yay. Can we have chicken? Oh, never mind. We're going to the chicken. <laughs> We're going to it. See, this right here will be fine after you lose your weight and reset your body. This is the leaner, boneless skin. Then you can add in your own type of fats. But right now, don't do this until you lose all your weight. And I'll show you what you need to do right now. So we can have the bag of chicken once they lose their weight. And then they can, by then, they already trained themselves how much oil they need to put in, what they can use for more fats, and you'll be good to go. Then you're in control of how much you have every day. Right now, you don't have to worry about that so much or calories right now. Your weight will keep coming off as long as you follow these fat ideas I'm showing you. Okay. See right here? This is what I would buy. See, the, it has bone in, uh -huh. all, all the skin, eat the skin, and this is the fattier cut. So when you're getting into ketosis, you use the fresh meat. No, I use the bone in meat. Well, the bone in meat, I'm yes. sorry. And it is a, di a different type of cut. Okay. Um, also, in the ones in the package, they have a lot of sodium. You got to watch that. I know you need a lot of sodium on when you have ketosis, but to do that, you, you by by the time that you use the leaner meat, you have you have a better understanding how much salt you need. And I would choose sea salt or a pink salt. We use pink salt. Hey, that's pretty much all I'm going to show you there for this, and that's what I use all the time in a two-week period. I just go in and out of those different types of cuts of meat. Don't forget your seafood. you got to do that at least a couple times a week because the salmon actually has a high fat content in it. Uh, the shrimp don't, so that's when you add in your own fats. Okay. That's interesting. I did not know that either. Ooh, my favorite aisle, cheese aisle. On this cheese, all you have to do is, like the block cheese is probably your better bet. Let me find some right here. Oh, we're in the wrong spot, I think. They moved things around on me since last time I was here. <laughs> Let me find a block cheese. Oh, there we go, we're coming <laughs> Aha, this is what I'm looking for, and this is exactly what I use. And it's good. And it's really good, it's organic. Your ingredients are only two ingredients plus salt. And this is the one I use, and I use about an ounce to two ounces every single day. That's if you want it. You don't have to eat this, but it also helps keep your fats up. So you can eat like the Walmart brand or something yeah, like it, that? it doesn't really matter. As long as it's organic and only has a couple ingredients on the back, it's a giveaway. Too many ingredients is a sign of it's not good for you. And the, on the cheese, that's about all I want to offer you on that. Um, just get the simple organic with two or three. Some have three ingredients, but that's still okay. Go past that, and you can't understand what you're reading, forget that. <laughs> I wouldn't even, nah, don't even go to that. That's the truth. Coming up on the butter uh, aisle. We got some butter for you. When you do, when you add your fats and you're doing the butter, what you need is a real butter. Now I'm gonna show you the ones that I would do. Okay. And I have done, and I still do. Yes, he does. We use the Land of Lake because it only has two ingredients on it. See if we can get in there. Sweet cream salt is made out of milk. And that's why I buy it. It's real butter. And it's, um, that's enough butter for one week. It's like one, four half sticks. And you can use a half of each one of those uh, throughout the week. If you just want to do butter in all your food instead of the oils, like olive oil. Okay. Interesting. But there's a there's a bit there's a little bit cheaper one over here. It has the same contents in it. Okay. And it's like fifty cents cheaper. Hey, Once I'm always on a budget like we are. This is definitely. This is the one that I actually buy now. It's mm. the same, the same thing. It has the same ingredients on the back, so you know you're good to go. It's real butter. Yeah, I steal his butter sometimes yes, to she bake does. His, his. I can't always have all the butter. <laughs> I to bake his keto friendly brownies. We made a video of that. If you want interested in to seen how to make keto brownies. Aha. Uh -huh. There's two things I'll show you that I I use cured bacon all the time. Mm -hmm. You can get it for like $2.98. And this is the one that I use, but I control my salt enough where I understand how much I can have at a time. Since I only do one meal a day, it's okay for me to do a pound, but I don't do this every day. No, he doesn't. <laughs> but I'll show you how to do it every day if you decide you want to. Here we go. 
you want to do the apples apple smoked uncured bacon or the uncured bacon I, if you have to look on the back for ingredients to make sure there is no sugar involved and that's okay. how you go about that okay we got that figured out uh, you got to have your bacon oh, what yeah. about the you always have bacon and eggs of course there you go but i haven't got you that to show you yet <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, here's something you want a snack you can have this every day you can have the whole bag if you want um while you're getting in ketosis i can't even say that word sometimes ketosis yes pepperonis, pepperonis. You can so have this. Does it have to be pepperonis or can it can be like the turkey pepperoni? No, it has to be this one because it's super high fat. Okay. Now, if you once you get into it and you lose losing weight and you reset your body, go ahead and take the choice you want because you already know how to control your fats. Okay. And if you get in too much fat, you can go the turkey way, which mm -hmm. tastes, to me don't taste as good because I'm a fat man. <laughs> I like turkey. It's not, good. Not fat this way. I'm just, you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> here we go. And there is a better type of egg but I use the egg that we can afford on this. I buy a 60 he does. 60 eggs at a time. I use he these does. in a two week period all the time. We sell them for seven bucks for 60 of them. And if you want a better quality that has a better vitamin in it be that doesn't have as much in it, but we take all of our vitamins with our our salads and what mm -hmm. we put in it and our oils and stuff to bring it up so we get all that in it. You can go cage free is another alternative you can if you can afford it, but I will always, always suggest organic. organic. And these brown eggs, they do have a slightly thicker taste to it. Okay. It's a little bit different. And if it doesn't, someone's lying to you because I know organic taste because there's farms out here in Arkansas. Every once in a while, we get a chance to get some and I'll go buy it from them. And oh, they taste so much different. They're more, they're more feeling, actually. Hi, hon. Can we use the... What? Can we use the uh, egg whites scramble? No, I suggest not to. Egg beater, sorry. I want you to get all the fat from the center part of it. The yellow part of it has more of your fats in it. So you can if you the want. The liquid eggs, you don't recommend having on keto? No, not unless you want to put a lot of fat added to it. Oh, okay. No, but you can put like butter on it if you like. Okay. But it's easier just to go straight from the egg and use the whole egg because you don't have to do all that. Okay, just curious. Oh, the, this is... Here we go, check this out. We've got original almond milk here on sale for $1.94 too. That's kind of cool. And this is what I used. He on, may actually get some it's on, <laughs> it's on pasteurized too. That's even better. Uh -huh. Really good stuff. And that's what I used to drink. Put off a stevie on it. Tastes really good with a couple stevies in a big old 16 ounce cup. But I don't use that much always. I just use like a cup every once in a while. He also used that to make his smoothies. Oh, yeah. Ah, in the morning when I make my coffee, this is how I go about it. You guys probably thought he went to the creamer, huh? Nope. I use whipping cream in it. Oh, yep. I was telling you guys about this. I have Lauren doing this. At first, she didn't get used to it by putting a little bit of stevia and this in her coffee. But now she loves it. She's doing it every day, and that's helping her lose weight. This, the reason why this will help you get in fat burning mode. Don't you? If you don't use anything else, and this is all you use, you're good to go. I mean, I like it from the beginning when I started doing it. But if you, if you can get away with getting everything organic, go for it. If okay. you can afford that. If not, just go the same way we are. We're doing this on a budget, keto on a budget. It's the best we can do. We live in Arkansas. We all make, you know, we just make it here. And all the people around me, we just make it. So if I can show them how to do it, lose weight and get their health back, this is how we're gonna do it. Yep. So you guys can still lose weight on a budget. We do it every day. Oh, we're going to his other favorite aisle. That's the sour cream aisle. Yeah. The only thing I suggest in this aisle here, because it has so much of uh, sugars involved, some reason recently they had a lot of sugar to everything. So I only do this 
one type of sour cream. It's the lowest amount of sugar that I can get per okay. serving. And what is that? The Daisy. Dun, 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 dun. It's the sour cream from Daisy. Um, it has the lowest amount of sugar, and this is what I use if you're going to use sour cream. I'll tell you what, if you want to use your sour cream, pig out on this every day. It is not going to hurt you. But just like, if you're going to pig out, don't do it all the time. But if you want to, go for it. If you just have a mood, go for it, and you'll still lose weight. I mean, he's saying if you have a craving. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean. That's what I do. When I feel like just eating a whole bunch of stuff that's fat in it, I just go for it. He gets uh, fat cravings where I get uh, chocolate cravings. Hi, can you have yogurt on a keto? I would, but there's so much sugar. I've been trying to find a yogurt to help us so far. I haven't found it in the basic stores that we all shop at. But when I find it, I will throw that in a video someday. But I, I want that in our, because it's really good for your gut bacteria, but I just can't find the right one yet. But when I do, you'll know. That's a good question. Thank you. I know there's a lot of people that don't drink diet sodas, but I do because I used to have a sugar problem when I ate all the, or drunk all the different drinks I had, so I had to get rid of them, so I used diet. Um, mm -hmm. The funny part is, is when everybody talks about what's in those drinks, they're like, oh, I don't want to do that, there's poison and all that stuff, but that's kind of funny. Aspartame is in a lot of our foods. Read your ingredients, you'd be shocked mm -hmm. uh, inside our, um, our diet sodas. I don't have a problem with that myself. And if you do, I understand, but I drink sodas. But what I do, I, I can I buy the really inexpensive ones. They're only 72 cents, but I do read the back, make sure that, because aspartame won't spike your blood sugar, so you can't, you don't have to worry about that. But I don't go all day drinking it. I'll drink a little bit at the end of the night. I have mm -hmm. drunk as much as two liters of it, but mm -hmm. I've been cutting back. Um, anyway. So what I do use the most is... He loves his diet root beer. It's got to be diet root beer most of the time. Mine so, is diet ginger ale. <laughs> and you can see it's only 72 cents for it. So all these cheaper drinks are just fine and dandy. But um, when it comes to drinks, actually, if you drink, you can drink coffee. You can drink any type of tea. You can drink um, water like we do. And there's all kinds of different... Water. Drink. There's our water out That's... That's really one. important. If you can do that on your diet, or you can do it on the keto, the way we're showing you, bless your soul. You will lose weight more oh, than you yeah. ever saw. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to teach you something here. I haven't said it, it just came to me. When you're hungry, sometimes all your body is asking for is water. Give it a shot. Try your water. See mm -hmm. if it takes your hunger away. If it, if it doesn't, Go to one of the snacks I've showed you in my other videos and this video I just showed you a couple of them. Use those fats as your, your um, snack. And yeah. you can use as much as you want. All I suggest to lose weight more on the way I'm doing this is try to get one, uh, try not to eat in the morning and eat at, like after 11 o'clock in the afternoon to help your weight loss. Extremely help you. Can you have flavored water? Absolutely, and we're gonna go look at that. Mm. If I can remember where it's at in the store. Oh, I remember. Now, I drink a lot of flavored water on mine. I have my favorites. See, they got it for 50 cents a bottle, you guys. Cool. Um, they got apple, peach, orange. This is what Amanda drinks. I don't mm -hmm. like a lot of, I don't like a lot of carbonation, you know, but I do that on um, my diet drinks at night is cool, but I don't go all day through because I, my body just don't like a lot of carbonation. And you know yeah. what happens when you have a lot of carbonation. Yeah, nobody wants to be around you. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> would you recommend the sparkling ice waters? Well, let me see. I would have to check in the back. Do some ingredient reading. Mm because I drink those sometimes and they're pretty good. I mean, some of them have caffeine in it if you're watching your caffeine, but it'll tell you if you have caffeine in it or not. Yeah, these would be fine. They're just absolutely these. fine on it. You can drink that in the morning, afternoon or night. Um, but I would rather you drink your tea and coffee with that um, whipping cream and a little bit of stevia in it if you need it. Um, if you don't need the stevia, that's even better because that has a couple carbs. Some have one, some have two. In my case, it's one. Ain't this so nice that we're here at Walmart to show you how to shop? Everybody mm -hmm. comes here, even we do too. Oh it's yeah. It's kind of cool that we can go out and show you. 
most of the center aisles, we don't have much in there to offer you, but they got keto stuff here I want to show you eventually. Yes. On your coffees, hey, what's up guys? I choose the coffee that I like. You can have, I use instant because that way I can put in little vitamins and minerals I'm drinking. I can put in anything I want in. It's gonna taste really good that way. You can up or down the caffeine. That way I can control my caffeine better. But any coffee you want, you can have all you want. I suggest you just kind of limit your caffeine if you can, but it does help suppress your appetite through the morning. And, and dun 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 dun, dun, dun. Keto. We um, have the creamer with collagen in it. If you don't know what collagen, wow. yeah. Collagen is a type of thing that comes in our proteins that helps with our nails, our skin, your hair, and, um, and it keeps so when you're losing weight, your skin is hanging over. Collagen will help tighten it up. Your body will eat the bad. Collagen will help shrink it down with your weight loss. Hmm. And look at this, we got all these keto. They're kind of expensive, so I just go my basic. But if you if you got the money, they're here and it's available at Walmart. Really cool stuff, try it out. Yeah, I may try some of that collagen out. And here we go. A Ooh, million. my favorite yeah. aisle. Yeah, this is Amanda's place. This is where she, she picks out a thousand different ways of doing tea. They got tea where they got 24 bags for $1.96. I mean, yeah. you can't beat it. I, that's what I go because I don't have a lot of money. So I go that route. You will lose weight on the way we're showing you. This is just another way of doing it if you don't have a lot of money. If you do, someday, if you give me a comment, I'll show you how to do it with a lot of money. Yeah. But right now, we're just doing it on a budget, everything we do. And how I get my probiotics, I drink the lemon ginger tea. Perfect. That was, well, oh, thank you. That was so cool of her to mm -hmm. let you guys know. Oh, this, this, this side gets me in trouble. Okay, we're in the peanut butter zone. <laughs> so right here, I'm gonna show you the type of peanut butter that would be better for you. Okay. Follow me down here. When you're looking through the peanut butter, you see everything you normally have. So, the best place to start looking for peanut butter is on the top shelf. That's where the better stuff is. So, you start seeing the word natural. Natural. Then you see the magic word that organic. we've been looking for. Uh, organic. Okay, it's only $4, but you, you don't need a whole bunch of this kind of peanut butter. Um, uh, this right here, if you see, um, the organic peanut butter has a lot. See all the oil? I don't know if you can see oh, it. Oh, I see it. Hey, Lauren, if you're watching, this is the one I want you to get. What about the creamy? Can we have creamy instead of crunchy? Sure, you can have either one. The organic is the one I choose. The other ones have too much sugar in it. You want to get as close as you can to natural, and this is the one. And okay. they're on the top shelf at every Walmart. Everywhere I've been, I've been several Walmarts are in the same spot, so you're good to go just find the peanut butter. This is some of the sugar he, he, Ooh, you can get. There's alternative sweeteners that I wanted to show you. They have everything in your mama here. Look at mm. that. That big old place. <laughs> but check it out, you guys. You have to read the ingredients on this because some of them are not what you think they are. The wording, Carefully. Just, because, just because they say it is doesn't necessarily mean it is. Follow me. Now, swerve. I don't do the brown, but Swerve, when I read the ingredients on this one, is perfect. So you can get the Swerve, you can cook with it, you can add it. If you decide you want this instead of Stevia, you can mm -hmm. put this in the place of Stevia with your coffee. And you can bake with that stuff too. Oh, I tried it. Absolutely, and it works really good. It has erythritol in it, which is uh -huh. really good for you. Don't even worry about that. It does not spike your insulin. And I also used this stuff right here. This right here is also fine. It's granular, yes. granular stevia sweetener. That's we the one this. I make to make these brownies with. The reason why mm -hmm. we chose this one because it's organic. Mm -hmm. and, and, it's... and the ingredients in the back, if they're telling us the truth, what we're hoping every time we read these are telling us the truth. Perfect. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. on stevia. Now that's the one, that's the one where I keep finding different types of uh, sugars added. I don't know why they would do that. Stevia is beautiful. But this is what you're looking for. The word stevia leaf, mm -hmm. 
can go look in your ingredients and you see erythritol and stevia leaf extract. And that's what you're looking for, only those two. Anything beyond that, I would be skeptical. Just keep looking. Okay. There we go, we're in the oil section. All this is another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we know it's good for you. It's good for you. <laughs> that's going to be erased, okay? <laughs> yeah, you guys don't know what we're talking about, do you? Okay. Guess what? Oh, that's Spanish. Well, if you're Spanish, you know what that is. If you're English, it's lard. Mm -hmm. I use lard in everything. You can just put a little bit of lard in oh, if you want to fry. Oh, yes. <laughs> or you can use butter to fry your eggs or lard to fry your eggs. Deep fry everything in this. This is good, healthy fats that you need on the keto diet. The higher fat you get, that's your nutrients, by the way. Once you change from sugar burning to fat burning, this is your nutrients. Oh, check this out. Here we go. Here's this. That's okay. This is our oils department. This is my favorite oil department. I I do the Star Extra Virgin Olive Oil because they got a really really good deal on it. It's only 11 bucks. This lasts me. Well, excuse me. That's the wrong one. <laughs> this is the one. It's that's not, the one. This is the one I use. You see it? You already saw it on my pictures. If you're on my uh, Facebook. Um, but don't sell for nine something. This will last you forever. It does. Because this one tablespoon of it is um, 14 grams of fat. So you won't use much. Nope. Cool stuff. And we're going to do about face. The beautiful department. Look at all this. Almond flour. Okay, here's your almond flour. That you can use for baking, cooking. Uh, whatever you like in any of your um, cooking. Oh, and we got different types of coconut oils here. Um, let's see if they have what I'm... Oh, check this out. They have duck fat, too. I've never tried that before. If you're, <laughs> But this is what I suggest if you can afford it. Get the ghee. That's your butter. It's clarified butter. It's, it's taken all the way down to butter. Hmm. Oh, that's stuff. interesting. This is a really good department to check out when you come in. We even got avocado oils here. That's just as good as the oils I just showed you a second ago. It's um, made with avocado. Oh, yeah. Beautiful stuff, huh, guys? This is all at Walmart. You know what? But you see the prices seem to be a lot. But when it comes to oil and stuff, it, it lasts forever. Don't even worry about that extra 10 bucks Because you're talking two months of good health. Just because you bought that for $10, mm -hmm. it's well worth it, guys. Here he goes, guys. Those burrito shells are low carb. And they're all lined up right here. Let me see where oh. This is the one, I have a video where I was showing you uh, a beef burrito fat bomb. This is the one that I was using. Oh, um, they are good. Oh, they're so good. It has a tomato basil in it. They got spinach and herb. They got one that has high fiber, just a regular one. And them are the choices I would choose. Um, and they only have, let me see, I think it was uh, 16, uh, that's uh, five carbs. For you, shell. Uh huh, for shell. And so that's what I buy right there. And these other ones, yeah, it's up to you, but you gotta watch the carbs on them. Excuse me. And if you like salsas, you can buy the really inexpensive salsa. Just watch mm -hmm. how many you put in, because they have a, a carb or two in it. You, you can put, you know, three, four little tablespoons in, that'd be fine. Okay. And so that's what I use for taste on burritos, on my eggs, etc. If you like that type of Mexican taste. Ooh. Check this out, guys. My olives. They were the kind of olives I eat. So there's better priced ones on the actual area where the pickles and the olives are. But don't ever forget, you can eat all you want of these. So if you're really hungry one night, which you shouldn't be if you're doing this diet right but at the beginning it's kind of hard to you need to learn as you go mm -hmm. eat those eat those they got fat in them they're good too i like them and if you like salty taste they're, they're, they're great this is my aisle here's the aisle pickles 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 guys this is all you want them. See, they don't sell the big enough jars for me, so I have to go to Sam's. Yeah, this is the one that I buy. Yes, that's the one he buys, is the yeah. olives. Yeah, and I buy one. It lasts me two weeks because yeah. I have the pickles in the other jars that I eat. And so, 
There you go. Oh. Can we have mustard? Oh yeah, we do some condiment checking here. He does a lot of mustard. You can have your mustard, no problem. Just watch your sodium in case you're watching your sodium. What if no sugar. We're just oh. verifying. And um, this is the best brand overall um, that I use. I use real mayonnaise. It has no, let me see, let me make sure. It has no carbs, nothing in it that can hurt Yay. us guys. We're good to go. So that's the mayonnaise that I use. And it's very inexpensive too. Mm -hmm. You can even get the cheaper brand down here, a male. It, if you look on the back, it still has one carb in it. Why? I don't, I don't understand. The ingredients seem to be the same. But either way, it's still fine. One carb ain't going to hurt you. What about my... Now, you can have some of these Italian dressings on mm -hmm. it. I don't necessarily okay that. But if you can find one with no sugar in it, go ahead if you have to. But if, if you can handle just the olive oil, um, an avocado oil and put your own spices in it that's what i'd rather have you do but a lot of people don't like the taste of it i i like to taste it it's okay i'll do it and as time goes on you'll you adapt to taste and you'll start liking it but if you have to just use a little bit of these oils okay. because you know a lot of us can't afford a lot i understand that um but uh, that's where i am too so i would i do use that when i go to a restaurant but at home, I normally don't. I just use my own oils. Okay, I want to show you what some fruit. What about frozen? Fruit? Okay, we're going to show you some fruit you can have. You can have strawberries, any type of berry. The one says berry, but you can only have a small amount. Like, while you're losing weight, I wouldn't suggest that you do that. Um, the frozen ones are better because they, their nutrients do not leave. It just freezes there and you're good to go. And it's good to make your uh, malts and shakes and stuff with because you just put it in, it's already frozen. Then put your um, almond milk in it, and then you got your drink. Mm -hmm. A little stevia if you want, or a little bit of swirl if you want. And I only suggest this after you lose your weight and you reset your body and stabilize yourself, and you have an understanding that what a handful means. Like you don't, that's all you really want to do because it can spike your insulin if you eat too much of anything. If, of in fruit. If okay. it's in season, would you? Do you use fresh or still you, would you use fresh? Sure, you can go ahead and use fresh if it's in season. Okay. Uh, yeah, because we know it has its, all of its uh, minerals and, and all of its uh, vitamins in it. So, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Hello, everybody. We're over here with the seasoning package. You can just look, read the back of it. And if you, see, if you don't see any sugar in it, you can use any of these type of packets you want. Most of them have sugar in it, so you're going to have a small amount of opportunities but when you do it's usually the taco ones that i found that are so low in sugar that i don't think it affects any of us mm -hmm. but just use a little bit of it for seasoning in your food and um, it tastes better um, so you can get used to not having the old taste in foods that you're used to having tons of sugar and good taste to it this you you recur you can create your own good tasting food that way okay so that's how we go about that and that's what i do i'm telling you everything i actually do buy here Yes, he does. Yeah, um, there's sometimes I buy peanuts, but um, when you're beginning like we are, and I'm teaching you how to do this, try to back off the peanuts for a while. That'll be a snack when you lose your weight later. So basically, that's what I do when I go shopping here. I do mix and match a little bit, and as time goes on, I will explain that through showing Lauren and the group over there at Andy's while they're doing their weigh-ins and their, their new menus. You, be, you can learn from that every week and just add or take away your choice and learn how to put your own fats in. And here we go. Wally World at its best. One, two, three. Peace, Peace out, out, guys. Nice to have you back. Bye-bye.